I'm going to demonstrate how to get started loom knitting, loom knitting basics. This is specifically for those people who have never loom knitted or who are just curious about, well, how do you get started? What do you do with that loom? And one of the reasons why I believe loom knitting is so popular is because this is all you need. You need some yarn, you need a loom, you need some scissors, and you need a loom pick. <laughs> That's it. As you loom knit more and more, you may want to invest in different types of looms. And there, these come in various sizes, colors, and various materials, depending on the item that you want to loom knit. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna show you how I do it. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I do, no matter what yarn I use, is I make the yarn, I wind the yarn into a ball. I do mine by hand. There are some winders that you can buy to help you do that. Depending on where you buy your yarn, the yarn shop will offer that, or you may ask about them. After you purchase your yarn, you can ask if they are able to turn your yarn into a ball for you. The reason why I use a ball is because it's going to save me a lot of frustration and a lot of time later, because what I find happens is that when I try to use the yarn, the way to comes from the store, um, it eventually starts to tangle because I'm pulling, it's usually it's wound in various ways and it gets tangled. So the first thing you want to do to save some frustration is to turn your yarn into a ball. And this yarn that I'm going to be demonstrating with is called Charisma. This was the label that was on it. It is 100% acrylic and it says that it's a number five bulky weight. And the way this yarn knits up, it looks like this. This hat was made from Charisma. It's just a different color, but it's the exact same yarn. And it's really, I believe it's really good for loom knitting. And I'm, at least I enjoy loom knitting with this yarn. So I'm going to show you. Once you have your ball, and you do want to make a ball because just believe me, you're going to get tangles eventually if you just try to use it the way it comes from the store. So you want to make a ball, and then the next thing you want to do is make a loop. And I don't believe it matters how you make your loop, but you want to make a loop. The way I do mine is I just take some yarn and I cross it over like that. So I cross it over, and then I just take the center part and pull up the long part through the yarn, and now we have a loop. Okay, and so this loop is going to go on the first peg. So here is a loom here, and I call this the lonely peg. This peg right here, a lot of looms will have this loom that just kind of juts out from the side. Um, uh, some of the looms, in order to find out where your first loom is, is a different color. Um, on this loom, I, I don't use the lonely peg for anything except for a guide. And I use it to let me know where I begin and so where I, I should be ending up. So this lets me know where I'm beginning. So this is the lonely peg, I call it. And I always put this loop on the first peg to the right, the peg that is just to the right of the lonely peg. So your loom may look something like this. And then you're going to put your loop on that first loom to the right, or at least it's to my right, of the lonely peg. And that acts as a guide to let you know where you are. And then you tighten up your loop. Now what I'm going to do is I have this extra string is too long, so I'm going to cut this one. Okay. All right, so now we're not going to... Um, use or think about this little string right here right now. In fact, we're going to lay that down inside the loom like that. We're going to lay it down inside. We're not going to, we're going to hold it until we make a first, um, our first loop, our first wind here. Okay. So what we're dealing with is the ball and the string that's attached to the ball of yarn. And we're going to take that first, we're going to take this and we're going to wrap it around the loop. That's all we're going to do. We're going to wrap it around. I don't know if you could see that. I'm going to adjust my camera in a little while so it's more of a close-up. But we're going to wrap it around the loop. And then you're going to go to the second loop and you're going to wrap it around the loop. And wrap it around. Now, these stitches are called E-stitches because they look like a cursive E 
when you wrap them around the loop and you're going to wrap it around. I'm going to, I'm going to adjust my camera so that there's a better close up of what I'm doing and we will continue. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate from this angle so that you can see better what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead. This was the first uh, loop that we put on this peg. And now we have the string that is attached to the yarn. And we're just going to take and wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around the next peg and the next peg and the next peg and we're just wrapping it around wrap 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 now you don't want to make them too tight but then again you don't want to make them too loose you'll get a feel for it the more you do this but you just wrap it around wrap with the understanding that eventually you're gonna want to slide these stitches so you don't want them too tight because you want to be able to move them and so I'm just going to keep wrapping and wrapping 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 e stitch e e e e okay so now we've come back to where we started this was the first, this was the peg we put that little loop on. So now we've come all the way back to the last stitch. And what we're going to do now after we've done an E stitch around the whole loom is we're going to do it again. We're going to start with that first stitch where there's the loop on it. And what we're going to do is wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap don't skip any just keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping that's all we're doing to get started this is how we get started we're just wrapping and wrap and wrap and wrap wrap we're just doing the same wrap on all of the pegs all around, all around, all around, all around, all around. So just keep wrapping. That's what we're doing. This is our second row. And now we have come back to our last peg. So there we go. Now, when, after you've done that, when you look, you should see a loop, two loops on each of the pegs. And so what we do now is we have this where we ended here. If we let that go, of course, that's going to unravel and it's going to undo what we just did. So we're going to, when you wrap the last peg, you're going to hold it kind of with your finger there while you take your hook we finally get to use the hook <laughs> we're going to take the hook and on that one that where you holding the thread the last one you did you're going to take this hook and put it in the groove most of the looms all the looms have a little groove there for you to slide your hook in to help you better get in there and because what you're going to do is you're going to pull that over the top of that so what you did was you went in, you lifted up and you pulled it over the top. Now that you've done that, it's secure. You don't have to hold it anymore. It's not going to unravel. So let me move these. So what you're going to do now is that same thing all around. So you're going to go down to the next one, which is here. And okay, you're going to go down here. You're going to grab that and put it over. You're going to go to the next one. You're going to grab that one, just the bottom. You're going to put your hook through the bottom. You're going to take the bottom, lift it over the top. And so now you understand why we didn't want them too tight. You're going to lift it over the top. Okay, so we're going to go lift the bottom over the top.
and we're going to go all around lifting the bottom <laughs> over the top lifting the bottom over the top and we're going to lift the bottom over the top bottom over the top so that's that first row that we did we're going to take that first row which is on the bottom and lift it over the top one so leaving the top one on going to take the bottom and just lift it over the top bottom over the top bottom over the top and we're going to do that until we go all around until we come back to where we started and when we go all around and we're back to where we started we're going to have one loop left on each peg so let's just go around up and over 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 okay there you go all you're doing is putting it over up and over and now this is our last one now we have one peg again on each one loop I'm sorry one loop on each peg now before we go on what we're going to do is we're going to pull these you're going to push or pull however it works best for you we're going to pull down this row down a little bit because what we're going to do is make another row on top of that and we just want to move this down a little bit so that there's room for the new row that's coming so the new row okay we ended here Let's see where we are we ended here and there's a string and so what we're going to do is we're going to come over and wrap the one okay so we ended here the string is behind this this peg right here and so we're going to take and go to next door and loop it on there and the loop and we're winding again and we're winding and we're doing the exact same thing we did before we're winding we're making that e stitch and e and e because it looks like a cursive letter e and wind and wind and e and e and wind and wind and we're just going to keep going around and around and around and around and around around and round and the next peg around the next peg do not skip any around the next peg around and guess what we've come to our last peg we're going to wrap it around that last peg and now the same thing as before if we let it go it's going to unravel so when we wrap it around that last peg we're going to take our finger and kind of hold it there a little bit we're going to hold it there long enough for us to get our pick and we're going to go the one that we're holding so this is the one the last one we did just like we did before where is it we're holding it in place a little bit until we can get our hook there's the there's the one that we're holding that's the last one we did and we're going to take our our bottom loop put it over the top loop and now that's secure now we can let that go and we're going to go around and do the same thing we did before now that that's secure we're going to go underneath we're going to take the bottom over the top we're going to take the bottom over the top can you see can you take the bottom 
bottom over the top. So all of these have two loops now, but we're going to take the bottom loop and put it over the top on each peg until we eventually have one loop again. So we're just going to go around taking the bottom, putting it over the top, taking the bottom over the top, 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 bottom over the top, and you just keep doing that. You go all around because now you're taking the bottom and putting it over the top, taking the bottom, putting it over the top, bottom over the top, bottom over the top, bottom. There you go. And we just go around like that. And you are loom knitting because you know what? This is the basic loom knitting stitch. You've got this. And so you just keep taking the bottom and putting it over the top yarn, bottom yarn over the top yarn, bottom over the top. And we are loom knitting. We are loom knitting. And if you look on the inside of the loom, you see we've already started. It's building up right now. So what you want to do is keep repeating just what we did until, let's see, this is a small loom, but it could be a child's hat. So what you want to do is you just want to keep building, doing that exact same thing until you get it to the height that you want the hat to be. And that's it. You are loom knitting. So I'm going to come back in the next video and I'll just show you how to bind it off. But that's all there is to it is you're going to just repeat again. So now we have the one row and we're going to pull it down like we did before so that we'll have room for the next row. There's one that we didn't take off for the next row that we're going to wind. So that's basically it. So um, let's, so yeah, so you're going to put it all down again. You're going to push it down, push your stitches down so that they're in, in on the bottom because what you're going to do <laughs> is, okay, there's the, behind this peg is where this string is. So you're just going to go to the next one and wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around. And you're just going to do that again and again and again until you have your project at the height that you want it to be. You can just keep building up, up, up until you have it for the height you want it to be. And then the only thing left to do is to bind it off. So I hope that helps. This has been Loom Knitting Basics 101.